Hello everybody, this is Aqua Tammy and we are back with the Drifter Challenge. This is house 8 and part 27. And funny thing happened while I was just playing it. <laughs> I was just letting the Sims do whatever. Lester called Iris up on a date and I thought, why not? I don't ever go on a date. I don't ever take anybody anywhere really other than the park. But I thought, why not go on a date? And of course, we would get one of those that have the crappy bars. I like to be guided through. I like to be guided through my my date experience. Why don't we go in here and we sit and chat here together? He is cute. And she's off for two days anyway, or at least another day, so she had nothing better to do, and, and we're not really doing a lot right now, so I thought, why not? Why not go on a date? Compliment his outfit. Make a move. Get to know. Oh, that's a weird place to throw a get to know in. Give him a kiss. I don't know, it's, can it's canceling out a half of him anyway, so... Aww. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> Poor Iris. It's hard. It's hard to be the spare heir, and to be the oldest in the spare heir is hard. Because you don't get to really move out. You don't get to have your own life. You're never really gonna get to have your own thing. So it's good for her to have a little time to herself. If they get close enough, we'll let them get really close if they really want to. Give them a massage. What else can we do? And his hair fits in with the family, so you know, we're all about the braids this generation. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just crazy today. Oh, my headache's coming back. And I'm just trying to work through it. Go ahead and exchange numbers if you haven't already. Send him a little bit of a message. See if he gets the, <laughs> the same idea that she's getting. See what's going on here in the town. Lots of old folks running around. <laughs> and now our Iris has a boyfriend. So now that your boyfriend and girlfriend, I suppose y'all might want to celebrate. Should we try for a baby? That would be awful. Forward. But what the hell? We'll do it anyway. <laughs> because I got nothing better to do. And I really do like Iris. I mean, I'd love to take Iris with us to the next house. But it really wouldn't be fair since she's already level 4 in the career that she would have to be in. And I think part of the reason that they give you the second sim in house 9 is because you are going to start out with from scratch with them. In house, in house 8, you are going to have complete control of that, of that air going forward. So they're, they're giving you that one that has to start from scratch. I completely believe that. Well, I hope it's a good date. <laughs> that door looks like it's about to crack. Oh, our Iris is all grown up. When did that happen? Seriously, when did that happen? Dude, are you, uh... 
Hold on a second. Are you just large or are you, um... Because I don't have any mods in my game. And you're walking like a pregnant... Maybe I'm just being crazy. No, he's just strutting. Okay, double take. Because I'm like, I don't have that mod in my game. There can't be anything like that going on in my game. Oh, hot and heavy. <clears throat> Aww. You know what we could do? The North Nerds, Inja, Inja, Hespa. Now see, that seems like the Iris I know. She is one take charge woman. I feel like she would say, you know what? I don't care about this whole drifter thing. I don't care that I'm not the heir. I am going to get me a man. Jump in our arms? <laughs> Thanks for the great day. Talk to you soon. That's all you got to say? We just proposed a marriage and that's all you've got to say? So what are y'all thinking y'all want to do for the rest of the day? Anything? He's not leaving, is he? Oh no, he's got to go potty. Why don't you... Does he not realize there's like a bathroom right up here? See, there's a bathroom at the entrance. And then there's a bathroom further down. come and grab some food. Let's see. Order food. How about fish and chips? You better not be flirting with the old woman. You're now engaged to a possessive crazy evil woman. Did you not go to the... Now Lester. My opinion of you has fallen. You don't stop by the bar when you gotta go to the restroom. <laughs> So, how are y'all today? Doing good? Yep, yep. I've noticed that the neighborhood's getting very, um, along in age. We seem to have two generations. We have the ones that are her age and the ones that are her parents' age. But I guess eventually it'll start kicking off and, and it'll start producing some more kids or whatever. I'm amazed that this, this neighborhood has gone as far as it has. Because this is really impressive. And I am looking forward to having a 10th generation drifter. I really am. Because for me, that will be an accomplishment. Before that, the longest I've ever had a family go is to... Um, is to the ninth generation and I'd had such a hard time this was in The Sims 2 and I'd had such a hard time with the family and everything that by the time I got that far I just kind of went you know what I'm done it's not fun anymore I don't care anymore and I just I just walked away from the family like one generation away from having the, uh, their legacy finish because I just literally could not stand it anymore and everybody said, if you're not having fun, don't do it. So I took that as a, as an out clause, and out I went. Oh, 
Sad? Still showing just one day. He's leaving? I guess that's our sign to leave too, if, if your fiance's leaving. You ready to go? We will switch controls back over to Ian. Well, I really wasn't planning on recording, but since she got asked on a date, I thought, what the heck? We might as well. We might as well record something. Y'all need to let me know if the volume is way too loud on The Sims. I can't tell. I think it was right then, but maybe I'm wrong. I, I, I don't know. This whole volume thing, though, yeah, I don't know. I <laughs> just don't know anything today. Oh, my God. Change camera settings in the menu. Yeah, I'm aware. Wind chimes. Now, I don't know what y'all think about the men wind chimes, but I like the, the uh, metallic, the aluminum ones the best. I'm not a, really a fan of the bamboo ones, or the ceramic ones are okay, but I, I like the aluminum ones the best. I have wind chimes out on my, my carport, but you don't get to hear them much. I mean, it has to be doing some serious wind blowing out there because of where they're at for you to hear anything, so. And we're back. Let's bring her here. Bring Iris back. What are you getting up to? You're definitely oh. not doing what I had wanted you to do. Where is... Oh, she's doing that. What's your sister doing? Oh, the coffee maker broke. I can't be bothered to mess with that. Speaking of wind chimes. Y'all gonna have a powwow here in the oh, bathroom? Oh, wow. Ladder. Tell a joke about aliens. Brighten her day. Shine Give away. her a hug. Green. <laughs> uh, banter with old friend. Tell an engaging story. Mom's checking in with the uni again. Discuss entrance. Interest. I don't feel like I pronunciate very well some days. Like most days. Maybe we can get your charisma up this way. His bar was doing some weird stuff a while ago. It was on level 5 and it said it was 185% complete last night when he went to bed and it's still like highlighted and as he was sleeping it kept going up higher and higher and higher the percentage but I guess it fixed itself when he woke up so This is a perfect place to have a nice little meeting you know Are you feeling better now? I mean, oh, you're tense because you haven't been outside? Oh, well, you should have told me that, because we can fix that. Why don't you go downstairs, away from your sisters, and use the bathroom and take a shower? And we'll go over to the park over here. The one, like, right next to the house. Sorry, my phone went off. Let me tell it to go away. I'm amazed that my phone went... Are you seriously coming in here? Y'all get lost. All of you. Go away. Women out. I wonder if she's pregnant. Anybody want to take bets? She's not acting pregnant. I'm not going to test for it. 
Because if I test for it and it said yes, I'd have them married off. And it's probably not a good idea. Because then we'd have eight sims in the house. But, oh well. Oh, he's singing in the shower. And she's walking through the bar. What are y'all doing? Anything? Watch... Watch a movie? Oh, he's in his thing. I gave him that as an outfit. Now, there's a story behind that outfit. His, uh, great, great, uh, several times grandfather, our founder, Abel Drifter, had an outfit like this in teal blue. Now, his... Our founder was insane. You have to keep that in mind. So his outfits were a bit out there. And since he's going to be a super spy, <laughs> I just brought the outfit back. This time I even added the top. On, uh, on Abel, he didn't have the hat section. But I brought it back for him since he's going to be a super spy. Super spy. Can you tell I can't wait? <laughs> I've never played this spy career. It's going to be interesting. Now, I've done the thing with the house. I've done that before. So, that should be fine. But I've never done the Super Spy career. So. And if you're not sure, um, the house in... in House 9 is has to be completely underground. You're not allowed to put any walls above ground. So, I've actually done something like that before. So, I'm not really worried about that part. But I haven't done the career before. I don't, I don't tend to do careers unless I'm doing a challenge and it requires them. I just, I found that my Sims can make more money if they stay home and do what they're going to do. Okay, she's gone to bed. She is on the computer. And she's done all of her stuff for work and she has work in 20 hours. But if she's in a good enough shape, why don't you go to the bathroom, take a shower, Ooh, and she's collecting dirty stuff. And then why don't you just go here? No, don't teleport. Just go here and tell some jokes. She's going to get more of that gaseous food that she keeps cooking on the grill every time I turn my head. Apparently it's a fan favorite with her. Uh, yeah, I put the um, I put her sister's stereo in here. So uh, Irene earned the stereo, but I put it in Inez's room because it fit better in here. She had more room, so that's where the stereo went. And Mom is listening to it while playing on the computer. So yay! And Dad is just hanging about. He doesn't work for two days and he's already completed his book task. And I think he is now making well over five grand. He's somewhere around six grand a day for his books. So, I think the last one was 5,700 maybe. I can't remember. But it's something like that. I wonder if it, well, it doesn't ever give you a total, so never mind. It would be nice if it did give you a total at the bottom. And, and the birthday watch apparently was still one day away so it'll be on Monday the birthday party will be on Monday is there something else broken uh, well, we got three taking naps now four so we only got two of you awake and it's oh well it is 11 p.m. no wonder I've lost track of time when do you go to work you go to work in 17 hours you are kinda tired why don't you come on up to bed and sleep
And you've got school tomorrow. So why don't you come? I'll find it, whatever it is. Why don't you come and have some grilled chicken? Part is spoiled. This one, empty bowl. Thank goodness she's eating all that finally. Hope she doesn't make any more. And then after you get that done, you just head off to bed. Hopefully there's nobody in your bed. Nope, your mom's not in your bed tonight, so that's a good sign. You have your bed to yourself. Our little ninja, our little ninja heir. Nine generations, all wrapped up to one nin little ninja. <laughs> I'm sorry, I love that outfit. Maybe I'm doing pre-Halloween, I don't know. I just had to put him in it. And keep in mind, I had to dress him twice, so by the second time around, uh, there's no telling. We're, we're all lucky he wasn't dressed crazier. If he had had the insane trait, I would have went to town. But he didn't get this insane trait. I forget what his other trait is, but it's not insane. I have rolled it. Because I went ahead and rolled for all their traits a while ago. So I did all the final traits. And he is not crazy. A little eccentric maybe, but not crazy. Who is awake? Well, if you've got to go to the bathroom. Oh, what the hell. Let's do it. Come on. Oh, my gosh. She's pregnant. Do y'all see what I've done? Do you see what I've done? See, this is what happens when Tammy gets bored. Bad things happen. Well, okay, fine. Just ignore my idea that you take a shower first and go get you some food. Oh, she, now she's going to go puke. Uh-oh. Ugh. What until your dad finds out? <laughs> going to have to talk with that young man. You know how dads can be. A bit overprotective from time to time. And then once you get that done, then you can come in here and grab this. Grab your food. So now I got two things to worry about. A birthday <laughs> and a wedding. Sixteen days to age you up. Seven days. Zero days. Yep, 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 yep. Why were you sleeping with your dad? You Sims. That's just weird. I'm gonna call it weird. And no, do not get on the computer. She stays on the computer, that one. You can bring yourself in here. Share the big news. Don't yell at her. Share the big news. Now, moms are usually more understanding and forgiving. It's not across the board. But her mom's probably going to be all excited. And then she's going to give her the lecture about bringing an extra kid in here. Where are we going to put another kid? Now, when you finish that, why don't you grab something to eat? Ugh, eat the ice cream if you must. I don't even feel like talking to you. No, don't make ice cream. Don't make ice cream. Oh, she's making ice cream. 
I didn't mean make ice cream. I thought you were going to get it out of the fridge. We already have plenty of ice cream in the fridge. Now you, come tell your dad what you've done. You two are pals, buddies. Friends. Guess what, Dad? <laughs> Do what? Do what? Oh, and I I'm also engaged, by the way. So, um, yeah, we'll be moving up the date, like, a lot. And we'll just go ahead and get married before the baby gets here. What you think? <laughs> yeah. We all know how that one went. Ian's already off to school. Oh, and she's off to work. Okay. She's off very inspired. I don't think that's how she's supposed to go. I think she's supposed to be focused, but oh well, she's very inspired today. Work hard. Oh, you're going to work too? Everybody, nope, you're going to slip and slide. Should've known better. What about you? Oh, you got to work in nine hours. But you've done all your stuff, so you're free to do whatever. So, let's get us turned around and let's see what you're up to. Oop, I shouldn't have done that in fast speed. It just went too quick. Ooh, the garden does not look good. Oh, did we do anything to that garden all weekend? No wonder it looks so bad. We didn't water at all this weekend, and the gardener hadn't been here since Friday. Yeah. That's my bad. I didn't pay a bit of attention to the garden, and it's half dead. Sorry, Miss Gardener. Oh, and, um, you're going to need to put some more bird seed in. They've ate it all. There's another, well, 4,500 more. Why did we get five that one time? I think some of the books have started dropping off. Ah, oh, wild bird attack, attack! <laughs> That's funny. I think some of the books have started dropping off. And then they get the mood like, birds! Ah, oh, those greedy birds have Henry feeling so angry. What was I saying? Oh yeah, dropping off. Because it was five grand a while ago and now it's down to 4,700. Oh, and the bills are here. Why did the game pause right there like that? And the bills are 7,600. Come and pay your bills. You can go back to doing other stuff later. Maid is cleaning up. Your daughter's on the computer. Your wife's eating some chowder. Oh, and I forgot to. Mm, well, my bad. I forgot to check about the ice cream in um, what's her face's pocket. It may go off before I get it out of there. We're just gonna sell these because I don't want to look at them anymore. And we're going to put the camera. I always put the camera somewhere in the house. She can't take it with you. So I just lay it someplace. So we'll just lay the camera over there. So what you want to do? What? He's right there in between you mopping. Just give the poor man a second. Dude, you're a little close. You know, privacy, boundaries. You got your hand between my legs. I think that's a little too close. Dude, I'm just trying to do my job so I can get out of here. How would you feel if you had to do this for a living? It's not the most glamorous job in the world, you know. And I don't even get paid. Working 23 hours, and you've completed... Have you done all your stuff? 
Yep, you've done all your stuff. Well, we're 30 minutes in, so I guess we will call this one done, and we will have the birthday party in the next part. So thank you for watching the insanity that has this house has become. And um, I will see y'all back here real soon. Bye, everybody.